Oh my goodness. Hey, do you know what that is, Hubert? Are these models based off of units from Strata's military? Based? No, no, this has nothing to do with the military. They're merely action figures popular among children. Really? Do you like them? Ridiculous. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Tonight, we feast on dead seafood. Pow, 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 pow! Beach Brigade, Sunscreen Rangers, red! What are you doing? Oh, uh, Sophie. What's a Beach Brigade? It's a branch of the Strata military. They're specially trained to uh, maintain peace in waterfront regions. Oh. A master of blades and a master of guns? You're pretty hardcore on the old battlefield, little bro. Well, I suppose there are some who have voiced that opinion. In the old days, Hubert was more bookish. Actually, he was pretty much a homebody. Interesting. Where did you train? Your gear certainly isn't standard issue weaponry. I'm self-taught. I studied printed materials and replicated what I read. That's incredible. I'd love to see these materials of yours. I'm afraid not. Those materials are now a classified military secret. You know, Hubert, I was thinking back. Yes? That weapon you use is the same one as the hero from our old Troll Caliber comics back home. Is that where you learn the style? Everything is really similar. Uh-huh. <laughs> Military secrets indeed. That's Belle. Doesn't all this combat make you tired, Sophie? No, not really. Because you always use healing arts to tend to my wounds. Hmm. I'm not talking about wounds, Sophie. Exhaustion is something else. Don't you ever just wanna... collapse? Hmm... Yes. Well, that's exhaustion. And when that happens, doesn't it help to rest? I'm okay. The Captain and I always have a long talk to help me fall asleep. Captain Malik, I don't mind if a little chatter comes up before bed. But what are you two always talking about? It's nothing... weird, right? Well, that's up to the dice. Painful stories, memorable lessons, the numbers we roll determine the topic. And then you just ramble on? Sophie can really shoot the breeze. Shoot the breeze? Pascal? Hmm... Where's Pascal? Good question. I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> there you are! <laughs> oh, that's right. It's too hot for her to speak. Hot? Don't worry. If you get up real close, you can just barely make out what she's saying. Huh? She isn't saying anything. What's wrong, Pascal? Crap sandwich! I was playing the silent game and totally winning! Oh, I I'm sorry. Um, who are you playing against? Me, of course! Challenging yourself is the ultimate way to give yourself a mental workout. <sighs> oh, I see. Now you guys decide to play. Well, forget it. She's so bizarre. This woman is beyond me. These ruins look quite ancient. Yeah, they look like more Marcian ruins. In fact, now that I think about it... You know something? Remember the heat ray cannon back in Fendel? Well, this guy is its counterpart. So this one was helping us the whole time and we never knew. Yeah, and so we should totally thank it. Namu. Heat ray cannon. Huh? What does Namu mean? Okay, we're good. Hey, haven't we seen something like this before? It seems this place conforms to the same design principles as those ruins in Fendel. Where we activated devices to open doors, right? Yepers! So as long as we remember that, getting through here should be a piece of cake. Those automated guardians were pretty tough, weren't they? Oh, they were creatures of little consequence. Good grief, Hubert. That was a really tough fight for all of us. Can't you just be happy about a victory for once? 
For Hubert, shutting up and being happy is a taller order than the combat itself. You wound me, sir. I simply value maintaining an iron will and a cool composure above all else. Except when you're sweating the little stuff. How dare you? Uh, Pascal? Why are you slumped over like that? Is something wrong? <sighs> oh no, I hope she's okay. Maybe that fight was too much for her. Hey, Pascal, can you get up? <sighs> How can she sleep after a fight like that? Huh. Looks like it's Pascal who's maintaining a cool composure. That's not composure. That's just... quirk. Do you think we might be able to use this device in the upcoming battle against Lambda? Maybe Pascal can modify it for... Not gonna happen. Is it too difficult? No, it's just boring. The tech on this baby is ancient. There's nothing to gain from messing with it. But we need you to fix it. I said no. Hm. She actually sounded angry. She did, didn't she? That's rare. The three of us don't have anything to worry about. I think she's just angry at Hubert. Why is she only angry at me? Fine, I guess I'll go apologize. Pascal, hold on for a moment. Pascal? You're kind of enjoying this, aren't you, Captain? Don't be ridiculous. I'm merely concerned about maintaining harmony within the party. And why do I have such a difficult time believing that? Look at the size of this vault. They've built up quite a horde. It's okay to just take stuff out of here? Even if they're your family, this doesn't feel right. I wouldn't worry about it. Who knows how they even got their hands on this stuff in the first place? Stolen? Then I'd feel even worse about using it. I've no clue whether or not they acquired these items legitimately, but... But? If we use them to defeat Lambda, I don't see how anyone could consider their acquisition to be immoral. So you're looking out for your family after all? That could be it. Or perhaps I'm just trying to justify it to myself. Or maybe I just enjoy the sound of my own voice. <laughs>